Hey guys, my name is Fire. Welcome back to another video. Today I got some gameplay of Tom Clancy's The Division. I want to talk about is The Division too difficult, but before I get into that, I do want to wish myself a bit of a happy birthday here. Now, generally, maybe it's not something to do that people wish themselves a happy birthday. I don't, really don't fucking know, but generally, people don't do that, at least I think. But yeah, I'm going to wish myself a happy birthday anyway, because... I just kind of want to mention that it's my birthday today. By the time this video is going up though, it probably is the day after or the next day after my birthday. Uh, my birthday is on the 7th of March, so this definitely will not be going up on the 7th of March, I can tell you that. But yeah, I turned 16 today, and how does it feel to be 16? It really doesn't feel any fucking different. Like, seriously, it's not like you're going to wake up the next morning and you're going to be a fucking grown man. That's just not the way it's going to work. But yeah, I feel the exact same. It's, it's been a weird day. It's been a funny day. I haven't really done anything. It's been... Pretty much a normal day. I got a cake though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat that later on. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> and yeah, it's just it's been a regular day. I got a shit ton of money as well. Just generally, that's all I want for my birthday: just money and cards. Just give me money. I don't. I'll spend my own fucking shit on it. But anyway, on to the topic of hand, which is is Tom Clancy's The Division too difficult? Now, I do want to say here, I have not completed the campaign. I don't know what it's gonna be like after the game's over. If the difficulty is gonna get even harder, or if it's gonna be easier, I do know there is a legendary uh, like difficulty setting that you can unlock for them really high level players if you do want some better loot, and that's generally where the best loot is. But what I can say so far is during the campaign, this game's difficult. This game is really difficult at times, and. Honestly, I kind of am in a situation where I kind of think it's a little too difficult, but at the same time, I actually really like the difficulty. I've mentioned before that I think the difficulty of this game is engaging, and it engages you in the gameplay itself. I think that's a very good thing, because if you have a game that's too easy, if you take Destiny 2's uh, campaign, for example, Destiny 2's campaign was extremely fucking easy, and it was just like, one of those things where you could just breeze through it, and it, was, it there was literally no problems with that game. You could walk past the enemies, have them shooting at you, and your screen will go all red and shit, but whenever that happens, whenever your screen goes red, the enemies just stop shooting at you and give you like a second to fucking recall or something. Seriously, that game's campaign was way too easy, and I don't know what the hell they were thinking whenever they were making that, but I can safely say the division is far harder than Destiny. Now, I will say after whenever you got into the end game thing and whenever you were doing strikes in Destiny 2, Things were definitely different. I actually really liked uh, the way the strikes. Yeah, they were they were challenging at times. Now they weren't the most difficult things in the world. It's not like you're going to be getting some fucking Dark Souls experience out of it, but they were definitely more challenging than the campaign. Definitely far more challenging than the campaign. The campaign was the easiest piece of shit I've ever played in my life. But yeah, when it comes back to the division, the division's campaign is hard, and I think that also has to do with a lot that the game is very loot orientated, even more so than Destiny 2, that the game is extremely loot orientated, and if you do not have the right stats or the right gear or the right whatever going into battle, you're gonna die. A lot. Like, a lot. I mean a lot. And even if you do generally have the recommended gear, or even if you're a little bit above that, or you're a bit of a higher level than the recommended level actually is, you can generally still die a lot of the time, and it can get very, very challenging at times. Like, I've raised a lot of this game, and that is not necessarily a bad thing, but at the same time, it has made me a little bit too pissed off at times that I don't really want from a game. I do not want a game to piss me off whenever I'm playing it. I want to enjoy a game, and I can say that I did, sure, I did get pissed off uh, a lot of the different times while I was playing through the campaign, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun playing through it, because as I said, the difficulty was so difficult that it really engaged me in the gameplay, it really made me think, okay, I have to do this, I have to move here, I have to be very tactical, um, and be very smart about my moves, otherwise I'm gonna die, and it really brought in this mental game of trying to figure out how I kill these bosses, and it was really, really cool, I actually really liked that about the game. But while I'm saying that, I will also say, yeah, the difficulty was engaging, and it made me have to think about what I was doing, but also the gameplay just felt really random at times, like, I meant really random. It, it was really fucked up at some of the times. Like, sometimes the enemy was just literally fucking 360 circle you and just, like, completely cover you from all angles to the point where you couldn't get behind cover. You couldn't get, no matter what cover you were behind, there was always an enemy there ready to shoot you in the back, and it got extremely annoying at times, and so many missions were paced like that. It still happens in the game. This is a big part of the game, knowing where to place your character. Before you engage in a situation, you need to figure out 
where you're going to put your character, what cover you're going to hide behind. Is there more cover? So if I have to move from this cover, like a grenade gets thrown at me, do I have to move to this other cover? Is this cover near enough by that I'm not going to get absolutely fucked while I'm trying to move to that other cover? And it was always just kind of this mental game of trying to figure out where to go. And I think that's a pretty cool thing at the same time. I actually think it really brings in a lot of thinking. And I actually really like that uh, aspect of the game. And also, if you do run straight on head in, Good luck getting out of that, because generally there's like shotgun guys running after you and they do a shit ton of damage and most of the time you're just gonna die and it is a very challenging game like that. Uh, a lot of the time, generally when I'm even running around the city, uh, in the spot that I'm in right now, there's a lot of like enemy base camps, like these military camps set up that I'm constantly running into enemies and I'm like, oh shit, I did not mean to run into these guys and there's like big yellow guys and everything and I'm just, it, it doesn't go well a lot of the time, <laughs> so it doesn't. Generally, I can run away, but it's it's pretty hard, so it can be. But yeah, I also want to mention here, just some of the bosses in the game, there was this mission that I was doing uh, where you had these two big yellow guys, and they're like these big yellow guys with like death machine things, and there was also like a bomber guy that whenever he threw his grenades, they would explode immediately, like it, on impact. So if you didn't, as soon as you see the circle, you don't even have enough time to dodge or run or do anything you're gonna get hit by that grenade and it takes away usually like half of your damage at least the amount of health that I had generally if you have different stats and different toughness levels and different things it's probably gonna take away else more or less but it was generally taking away half my health for that and yeah it was a very difficult mission because these two big guys would come up the stairs and honestly it took me a while to figure it out actually I didn't even figure it out on my own necessarily I actually had to look up a YouTube video because I was stuck on it for I, I was I'm not even joking I was playing the game for like three hours trying to figure out what the fuck to do and I looked up a YouTube video on it and I figured out that you could bring them back up and you could kind of like circle them around this thing also with the JTAF shooting at them kind of distracting them you could also just like run around the cover and kind of circle them that's a very good tactic if you are looking or trying to fight a boss if you can get like a big enough even if it's something as simple as a lorry you can uh, run around one way, shoot them, then run around the other way without them seeing you run around that lorry because the lorry's big. Uh, they won't even know that you move position. And that's one really cool thing about the AI in this game. Because it walks towards and it shoots towards the last position that it saw you. So if it sees you in a specific position and it's shooting at you and you move to another position and it didn't see you move it's going to shoot at the exact same position you can get it in from behind the guy and just absolutely melt him. And it's really, really cool. I think them kind of like AI tactics are really cool. The AI in this game is surprisingly interesting. I actually really like the way the AI is programmed in this game. I think it was very, very clever the way they integrated that system. And even some of the things, like I shot an NPC and this guy was, he seemed very sick and he seemed like he was kind of limping about. And generally in games, whenever you see someone like that, uh, maybe it's because uh, if you shoot them, their adrenaline kicks in, they start running away. That could be the case, I guess. But this guy, whenever I shot him, he just kind of started limping away and he just, just went away slowly and you could tell that he was injured. He wasn't like sprinting away like a fucking madman, like Usain Bolt running across the 100 meter line. No, it was nothing like that. He was a guy that you could tell was injured and trying to get away and I think that's a pretty cool thing. So yeah, when it comes down to it, is the game too difficult? No. This is not some kind of Dark Souls experience that you're going to be getting. I think the game isn't a good difficulty, and like I've mentioned before, or like I've mentioned even here in this video, the difficulty is a really funny thing, and it really makes you think, and really is an engaging factor to the gameplay. But at the same time, it's difficult, it's really difficult at times, and if you have played this game, you can probably agree with me, or you can probably relate to me even, uh, that the game is difficult. I know there's going to be one guy out there saying, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? This game's easy. No, it's really, it's definitely not the easiest game. It's definitely not the hardest game. I am not someone who's played Dark Souls before. I would, oh boy, I would not like to play that game. I might actually end up picking up Dark Souls. I, I really don't know how that's going to go, but if I ever do pick up Dark Souls, I'll make sure to make a video about it of me like ripping off my head because I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that game would agree with me very much. But yeah, overall, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.